doing the shot? I mean, it's on face track right now, so. How do I turn it off of face track? I double tap the screen. Like that? Christopher. What? Where are we going? The lunch. It's still on face track. I double tapped, recenter. It's still tracking you. <laughs> really? We're going to go find Hi. macaroni and cheese. Tell I'm me where here. we're going. Uh, we're going to Earl's Beer and Cheese. Apparently. Where are we walking today? As many steps as humanly possible. In Central Park. I'm gonna have you give the updates from that one. Why? Because I'm tired and I want you to do it. So, we originally had plans to sing four shows. But Chris Rusin was like, no, go big or go home. We're gonna sing five. So, we started on Tuesday. And I'll tell you the shows and Chris will give his opinions. Ready? I'll name them first. Tuesday night, Hades Town. Wednesday, Matinee King Kong. Wednesday evening, The Play to Kill a Mockingbird. Last night was The Prom. Tonight is the Broadway preview, like the first ever audience performance of Tootsie. Let's go Starring back. Starring who? Santino Fontana. The future of Mr. Kristen Basor. Okay, so we have a great show. <laughs> All right, let's talk about Okay, your, your thoughts. My thoughts on Santino Fontana? No. Oh, okay, what are my thoughts? Go on one. Hades Town. It was a show that I had A, not planned to see, and B, had no interest in seeing because I had not really heard anything, but I went on a whim. My fiance told me to do it, and it was very good. I think I almost cried in that one. Chris Rusin, did you cry in that one? Yes. Okay, one for Chris Rusin, zero for me. Next one was King Kong. Huh? I'm gonna let Chris Rusin give his thoughts on that one. I'm still filming you, though. So, you get to react to my reaction. Do you get to give your opinion after? Yeah, I was going to have you do all of yours. Oh, okay. By the way, we were told to walk aggressively, so if I continue to walk while talking, it's just because I'm trying to be aggressive. Okay, King Kong, spectacle musical. If you wanted to be moved or touched or intellectually like stimulated, that's not going to happen here. But if you want to see things that are shiny and a very good puppet and a lot of really cool LED screens, it's like to be... To Kill a Mockingbird. First Broadway play I've ever seen. And it was very touching, very eye opening. I liked what the director did. The sets and the set changes were amazing. You were never waiting, there was always something happening. The prom. I knew what it was going into it. Just like a fun musical about not so fun topics to deal with in our modern world. Loved the show. Very, very entertaining. And, oh, Christopher, can I give updates of where we were seated? Yeah, sure. So, Hades Town, we were in, Christopher can correct me, the third row. No, no. Yes. Kong, we were in the third row. Correct. To Kill a Mockingbird, we were in the first row balcony. Balcony, yes. And last night at the prom, we were technically in the second row, but the only people, only person in front of us was the conductor of the show, and her head yeah, the, down in a pit. The first row wrapped around the conductor. Yeah, so here's so. the conductor, and here's the first row. We were behind the conductor. So technically second row, but no one in front of us. And I have no idea where we're seated tonight, because Chris Rusin surprised me with these tickets. Okay, we're orchestra left. I think we're row M, so. What? This one being the first preview was. How am I gonna see my boyfriend? We're a little, at the stage door afterwards when you propose. Dear Santino. You're gonna send me to go get cookies. And you're gonna go propose. Is there snow on the ground? Fake yeah. Snow. No, 100% real. Huh. It's fake. Whoops. Um. Your turn. You put it on you now. You want me to film you? Yeah. Your turn. Welcome to the Upper East Side. Track my face. You double tap. Face track. Face track on. Yep, go ahead. Let's hear your thoughts, sir. Um, Hades Town was up first. Uh, I'd only listened to a little bit of it. Um, and I kind of got like a once by way of Great Comet vibe. And I was not a big Great Comet fan. Um, but I thought the show was fantastic. The cast was great. There were some really cool things they did with. Uh, the set, which initially appeared to be very static and limited. Um, so that was wonderful. My first ever Broadway show. Um, they do, yeah, King Kong was... The music wasn't as bad as I expected. 
it's none of it was memorable except for like a stanza of a song. Um, <laughs> and uh, but the puppet was really cool, and just because like the nerd in me really liked watching all the like manipulation of the puppet when they were passing around the cables. It's basically a 22 foot tall marionette puppet. Um, so yeah, that was neat. Um, some of the choices they made with the story of King Kong, which is a story I've been a fan of for a while, were meh. Um, and there was one other big puppet in that show, and it was not good. Oh, the snake? The snake was not good. Um, but, you know, it's what it is. Uh, Killer Mockingbird uh, was the reason we booked this trip, because I am the world's biggest Darren Sorkin fan. Um, he was not there. Uh, yeah, you need to clarify, Aaron Sorkin's not on the stage. No, he's the writer. Um, writer of the best TV show of all time, Sports Night, and the second best TV show of all time, The West Wing. Who? Uh, and uh, he was, I really like his use of the kids as the narrators. Um, and in typical Sorkin fashion, he didn't, it's not a linear uh, telling of the story, so you bounce back and forth between situations leading up to the trial and the trial, uh, which I thought was a nice way of breaking up the flow of the story. And um, only a couple Sorkinisms in there, and none until like the last two minutes of the show when, for you Sorkin fans, uh, we got uh, Joy Cometh in the Morning. Everyone knows from that famous, because uh, Kristen, you know, of course, from the famous President Bartlett uh, speech in the West Wing, right? Who? Okay. And uh, we also got the, <laughs> uh, the classic, uh, Lord, I don't always know how to please you, but I think the fact that I want to please you pleases you, which has been featured in Sports Night and West Wing and probably a bunch of other things. I think it was a Molly's game. Was that a Molly's game? Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah. And then the prom. Uh, that was also the second time I cried that Krista didn't cry because her heart is cold and broken. Um, what? <laughs> I am always crying. I know, but I cry at shows. Um, oh my god, I cried at Rent last week. Yeah, that's choices. Em that's embarrassing. Uh, <laughs> I cried at good shows. <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, the prom was great. It was fun. It was uh, a soon-to-be star turn for Doug Joseph, I'm sure. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it was, it was great. Uh, um, and a lot of cool, like... Uh, modular set pieces in a way that you can kind of go really cool. So, yeah, tonight, Kristen's boyfriend in a dress. We're gonna turn now. Remind me where we're going again? 96. What are we getting again? Macaroni and cheese. <laughs>